Hello, I'm Dr. Erin Johnson. I'm a chief scientist here with the Inform Brands at LGC. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the Inform Choice CBD Hemp Certification Program that we recently launched in March of 2023. But first, a little bit of history around the story of the Inform Choice brand. Inform Choice was developed in 2007 for the supplement industry. It's grown into a global quality assurance program designed to minimize the risk of inadvertent contamination with banned substances. Due to this growth, in 2019, we underwent a rebrand featuring a new logo and new product initiatives. So the Informed Choice CBD program is a quality assurance program for the long run. So in this program, CBD and hemp derived products are certified and through this program it, it provides confidence that the products have been subjected to extensive CBD testing and product evaluation. In addition to the core CBD testing elements of the Informed Choice program, which includes regular testing of over 250 prohibited and potentially harmful substances, the testing compares the CBD content in the product to that listed on the product label claims and the resulting analysis must be within plus or minus 20% of the declared CBD per serving. Because when it comes to your cannabinoid or hemp-derived product, you can have confidence that it's been thoroughly tested. A little bit more about this specific program. So the Informed Choice CBD Hemp Program is a third-party quality assurance program for dietary supplements and products in the health and wellness sector that contain cannabinoids. Now these products could be things such as hemp protein or hemp seeds, or it could be sublingual oils, tinctures, other things that people take um, by the mouth, as well as topical products and even edibles such as gummy products. The Informed Choice CBD Hemp Program was developed through numerous discussions with academic researchers in the cannabis space. Now, since the passage of the 2018 Farm Bill, academic researchers have found repeatedly numerous issues with, with CBD products that has really brought the quality of the manufacture of these products into question. So in addition to looking at that from a safety standpoint for consumer, we also had many discussions with industry shareholders to figure out what would be beneficial to potential brands and how to shape a program that was really meaningful for all. In addition, we were leaning on the extensive experience of the INFORM team that's been gained through years and years of testing in the INFORM Choice program. So the INFORM Choice CBD program was developed to help the reputable brands stand out, you know, those brands that really just want to do the right thing, as well as give consumers an assurance in their choice of CBD products. Through this program, consumers can make an informed choice that minimizes their risk of exposure to prohibited and potentially harmful compounds, as well as assurance that they're getting what they paid for and what's been advertised to them on these products. Now I wanna walk through a little bit of our certification process. And there's four stages. The first stage is a product and manufacturing quality review. For this review, a comprehensive picture of the product is built up through reviewing various factors such as product branding, integrity, product variants or flavors, retail plans, product testing schedules, as well as manufacturing facilities. At this stage, the product ingredients are reviewed in detail by experienced assessors to minimize the risk of banned substances. A review of the procedures in place at the relevant manufacturing facilities is then undertaken via paper-based assessment. This process is managed by experienced assessors who provide guidance on how to meet the required standards of the informed choice program and reduce risk within the manufacturing process. The second stage, which can happen concurrently with the first stage, is a pre-certification sample testing. For this testing, three samples across at least three different production batches are run in the Lexington lab, which is ISO 17025 accredited. These samples must not show any indication of contamination with prohibited substances. As part of this testing also, the samples are tested for CBD and Delta-9 THC content. 
And as I said, this will be carried out in parallel with the manufacturing review. So once a brand and a product has passed our manufacturing review and our rigorous testing, we go into stage three where the product is certified and logo use can start. So once stages one and two are complete, the product's accepted and the brand will get a certificate for that product, at which time the brand may start using the informed choice logo in association with their newly certified product. And the certified product will be listed on the informed choice website on our certified supplement brands page, along with all tested batches. But even at this point, we're not done here at the informed choice CBD program. We have a continued testing, so post-certification monitoring occurs. As part of this, monthly blind testing to independently ensure the integrity of the product is conducted, as well as all batches that are produced are tested for CBD and Delta 9 THC content. Products that have successfully completed and passed the criteria for the banned substance, as well as the CBD hemp tested, are listed on the Informed Choice website with a dedicated product page. In addition to the routine product testing, production processes and manufacturing facilities are regularly reassessed to ensure ongoing program compliance. So a little bit more about the testing process. To the, assess the risk of contamination during manufacturing, products are tested for a wide range of substances that are prohibited and potentially harmful. And the list that we test off is based off of the World Anti-Doping Agency banned substance list. In addition, as I've said, every batch produced is tested for CBD and Delta 9 THC. So for the testing criteria that we apply to cannabinoid products specifically, the CBD content must be within plus or minus 20% of the label claimed amount per serving. Now this 20% comes from a look at expected uncertainty within the laboratory analytical testing process, as well as accounting for the potential manufacturing variances that can happen during production. Delta 9 THC, we look at the serving information that's provided by the brand, and we determine a Delta 9 THC consumption per day amount if consumed per the product label. The daily Delta 9 THC consumption must not exceed 0.083 milligrams per day. So you might wonder, where does this number come from? So here with the Informed Choice CBD program, we looked into the scientific literature in trying to look at what would be safe for the consumer. In digging through the literature, based on the European Food Safety Authority, some reports that they have put out, we determined that it would be safe for a person to consume not more than 0.083 milligrams per day. And at this level, it is expected to have no adverse effects to a person taking this product. Now, an important aspect that many consumers are concerned about is, well, what about my workplace drug testing? Our research in looking at this level for human safety, we dug into the literature pretty deep to figure out what type of levels of the Delta 9 THC metabolite in urine that is the common testing method for THC workplace drug testing, how does this match up with this level that we have proposed? And based on the literature, the risk of an individual testing positive on a workplace drug test is extremely low if they're taking a product as described and if they consume 0 0.083 milligrams per day, it is extremely unlikely that they would test positive on their workplace drug test. So here with the Informed Choice CBD program, we don't really stop at just designing the program and the quality assurance that we're doing. We're continuing to do research into this area to assess how our program stands up in the industry and how it functions, as well as what else is out there. One such study that we have done is looking at various phytocannabinoids in topical 
hemp-derived product, hemp-derived topical products. In this study, we found that the CBD concentration varied from label, label claim across this range of products from minus 12% to plus 20%. So these would fit within the range of our program and showing that this is, program is practical for the industry. Is that Delta 9 THC was detected in eight out of the 12 products that were tested. Another interesting point, especially for those that may be subject to sports dope testing, is that all 12 products tested, minor cannabinoid compounds were found in all of them. Now, as minor cannabinoids are currently a banned substance, according to the World Anti-Doping Agency banned substance list, we strongly advise that you consult with your sporting body and other relevant individuals prior to consuming cannabinoid products. So what else does this program get you? The benefits of certification open up many different angles for the brands. Being certified opens the door to a, for a variety of marketing support. This includes the dedicated product page, batch information, and links to purchase. We also offer robust filtering options to make finding the right product for you easier. And the marketing support also includes access to our latest research materials and studies. So here is the certified brands page. Certified brands have their logo listed for easy searching. Also, you can see the example of a product page with all the information that is included. I'd like to thank you for your time today. And if you have any questions, please contact our business development managers listed on this slide as appropriate for your region.